Which one is my camera? Number five. Okay. <laughs> First of all, how do we start the bolognese sauce? We started with a soffritto. Soffritto, onion, celery, and carrots. Very finely chopped, as you will see in the pan. Mm. Olive oil, you started to fry. Then the other secret is the kind of meat we're going to use. Often people use beef mm. or lamb on their own. The traditional one requires two different meats. It requires beef mm -hmm. here and it requires pork. Oh. The reason is the pork will give you the fattiness and the flavor. The beef gives you the texture. Nice. Okay. How do we crumble the uh, meat in there? Again, usually people will pick it up, put it there and start to crumble. There is a way that my grandmother used to do, my mother still does it. You put a bit of olive oil in there and uh, um, you massage the two meat together. So what's happened? The oil starts to crumble the, uh, uh, the meat, so it's easier when you put it in there. Okay. Yeah? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, uh, admire your beauty. Oh. And um, so I'm you put feeling it feeling a little awkward standing here, if I'm honest. Oh, it's OK. You come here and uh, crumble the meats. No, 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 it's all right. You uh, carry on. <laughs> the meat's been crumbled, right? It's, uh, sorry that I give you my bum bum. Can you crumble the meat, please? <laughs> well, crumble it? It's oh, already crumbled. crumbled. No, no, you need, you need to do it with a wooden spoon. Oh, That's right, the other okay. thing. OK, okay the heat now goes high, OK? That's and the way to do it... That's that's it. No, 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 that's OK. Crumble it, crumble it. Push it and twist it, push it and twist it. That's it. Now, let's talk about the liquids that it goes into the bolognese sauce. There are three liquids that it goes in there. Liquid number one is the wine. Okay, okay? I do that right. You're gonna have to put the wine first because you want the alcohol to evaporate, the flavor to stay in there. Okay. Liquid number two is milk, full fat milk. Ooh. Tenderizes the meat. Oh, right, I've never heard of that. Liquid okay. number three, chicken stock, beef stock, whatever you want. As soon as it gets brown, liquid number one goes in there, and that will be the wine. Okay? Now, very important to evaporize the alcohol, otherwise the sauce gets very bitter. What? Well, otherwise the sauce gets very bitter. Okay? I'm just evaporizing right now. Okay? Yeah. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Then as soon as everything is going away, we're going to pour the milk. Whole milk. It has to be whole milk. Whole full fat milk. None of these semi-skimmed rubbish that people use. Right. Full fat. Because it's important. The fat into the milk tenderize the meat. Yes. Okay? So okay. if you use semi-skimmed, then it, it, it defeats the object. Absolutely. Okay, that so makes sense. So mix it all together. So you see, it starts to get creamy. That's how you get the cream. Okay. Other thing as well, in a traditional bolognese sauce, you should never, never pour uh, uh, tomatoes, i.e. chopped tomatoes, plum tomatoes, seed tomato, anything like that. A bolognese sauce is made without tomatoes. The only thing they use is tomato concentrate, which is this. Uh -huh. It's completely different from this, which is passata. Yeah. Okay? And because here we used to have a bolognese sauce that is very liquid, to my, you know, very saucy. It should be very meaty. I got uh, water in there. If uh, I'm going to put the pasta, which is fresh pasta, should be done in three minutes. Hopefully, we got three minutes. Have we got three minutes, Philip? Uh, not specifically. Okay. But, um... Then we're going to pour salt. Very important. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> have we got three minutes. Well, you've got a minute and a half, but um... a minute and a half. Yeah. Good, because we like the pasta al dente. <laughs> there we go. Al dente. <laughs> now, see what I've done here. It starts to bubble it away. At this point, we start to put the stock. Right. Okay. And is the order of the liquids absolutely crucial now? Crucial. Okay. Crucial. Wine first, milk, and then... So and then yeah. we pour the tomato concentrate. So that's all you put... You see, I would be putting that's loads that's more it. than that in. That's the only thing. To make, look, you need to get the flavour of the meat going. Okay? That's what is important. At this stage, let it bubble it away for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm not kidding. No, get out of here. Three let hours? Me finish. Three hours. What you need to me. do... What you need to do, you switch it off the high heat, you put on a very, very low, I'm talking about low like this, I don't know if the camera can get, this low, you put it there, you do an hour and a half with the lid on, yeah. and you stir it every 15 minutes, if it needs a little bit more stock, put it there, and then you do an hour and a half without the uh, lid, really? and this, I'm telling you, and this is what it looks like, look, oh, look, you wanted to know how to make the proper bolognese, I'm showing you, okay, this is what it looks like. This is what a proper bolognese sauce looks like. Okay. Can you see that there is no sauce going on yeah. or anything like that? Will you, um... Can you, you do just... me a favour? Try. Do... I will do, do the pasta. Yeah. Just a second, because we have to go to a break. 
Uh, now, so uh, we'll read this and then we'll come back and take it. In the yeah, middle of the yeah. recipe, we're yeah, going yeah. for a break. Yeah, 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 because you went on a bit.